What's happening? This is Tom. I got a movie for you today called I Am Virgin. It just came out this year. Uh, it's by a writer director named uh, Sean Skelding, and he wrote it with a guy named David Wester. Um, basically, before I got the movie, I read a little bit up on it. I think they did something on it in Fangoria or something like that. Um, it's basically a spoof on the uh, the premises. It's like I Am Legend. All the uh, people that are left over happen to be hot chicks that are nymphomaniacs, and the one guy that's left, his name's Robbie, he's played by Adam Davis, um, he's a virgin, and the vampires are trying to have sex with him and everything else. Um, this movie, it started out halfway promising. Um, Robbie has a dog, Billy Bob, it's a little uh, bloodhound. It's actually a better actor than he is. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, it started out pretty promising. I mean, it's low budget. And I guess it was shot in the Portland, Oregon area. But, you know, the cinematography and everything makes it look like a bigger budget movie. Um, the acting, like I said, is subpar. Uh, basically, it was good up until, bam, a 10-minute sex scene between three lesbian vampires. Normally, normally I would say this is all right, okay? Um, normally, this is all right. I like to see hot naked chicks in uh, movies, but what this is, is it's a softcore porn film disguised as a horror comedy. It's something you could watch on Cinemax late at night. I don't know what it's doing being reported by horror websites and everything else, but basically the plot revolves around Robbie walking around exploring and doing his day-to-day -day stuff and stumbling across these sex scenes, you know. That last, I mean, you know, I'm all for watching that, but it, they go on for like 10 minutes, and there's like five of them that go on for 10 minutes. And, you know, it just seems, there's gratuitous where you say, ha, 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 and then there's this day, hey, uh, we're trying to get a sex film across, we're going to disguise it as a horror comedy. But anyway, and by the way, the first lesbian sex scene with the, uh, the three vampire girls, what the hell is this, with the legs crossed together? What, if there's lesbians or bisexual women out there that, you know, have done the whole leg crossing thing like that, please tell me what that does for you because I think it's just a figment of some director's imagination in porn 30 years ago and decided, okay, we'll have the girls do this with their legs and uh, guys will think they're getting off or something like that. But I digress. Back to the movie, I Am Virgin. Um, one thing I thought was pretty funny, he goes shopping, you know, gathering supplies or whatever in a store, and they play the hokey music, you know, like the Muzak, like they did in Dawn of the Dead when they were shopping for stuff. That was kind of cool. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Uh, there's a cameo by Ron Jeremy, who's, hey, he's been in actually a few horror movies, but anyway, Andre the Butcher, he was in, uh, what's the, uh, the Lost in the Frozen Wilderness one I did, uh, One-Eyed Monster, he was in that, um, he plays like an elder vampire, vampire king type thing in this. Uh, like I said, man, this is there's like five sex scenes, at least, that go on for ten minutes minimum. And basically the movie's just Robbie walking around to uh, and discovering various sex scenes. There's guys and girls, there's girls and girls, there's guys and girls, and, you know, and there's a scene in a tattoo shop and everything. And, you know, there's a lot of nudity. It's softcore. You see some genitals here and there, but it's mostly tits. And, uh, you know, usually I'm all for that in a movie, but this, it's just, come on, man. You know, come on. There is one funny part at the first sex scene. He's running away, and one of the uh, nymphomaniac vampires says, come back here, I want to suck your cock. And funny as hell, he turns around and says, there's something wrong with you, lady. You need help. So, anyway. But, you know, there's, there's just not enough of that in this movie. To do a horror comedy, you gotta either play it straight or play it really tongue in cheek. You can't saddle line or it just doesn't work. And they kind of play this straight and kind of play it tongue in cheek. But basically, it's soft porn disguised as a horror comedy. So, for that, you know, if you're looking for something like that, definitely check it out. There's a few laughs, but it goes downhill pretty quick. And uh, I'm only gonna give it like a 4 out of 10. So, anyway, support independent cinema and thanks.